This is what most AI does, right? You have a difficulty um, having, a t uh, having a conversation with your artificial intelligence about why it reasoned the way it did. Now, this is a big contrast to the old AI, right? So when I did the um, surface mount assembly reasoning tool at Western Digital, that was a rule-based system, although it did have a black box in it. So it was a rule-based system, and I could very easily go in and say, why did you decide to place this component on that machine using this head, right? So it was trying to pick, it was trying to uh, place components on a printed circuit board. But there was a piece of that that was a traveling salesman problem, which was the, what's the optimal path for picking the, uh, the way that the heads interact with the printed circuit board? And we used the genetic algorithm to evolve that problem. We could not ask the genetic algorithm why it made the choices it did. We could ask the front end of the system why the rules generated the results they did, but that black box was still there, and that's very common in AI, that there's some kind of algorithm being used that has inputs and outputs, and you can look at both of those, but you have no idea what happened in the middle. And for knowledge management people, that should make you very uncomfortable. And it also makes you very uncomfortable if you look at uh, what has happened recently with Twitter and Facebook, et cetera, in the context of our elections. They have had to bring in people to start looking at the, what their algorithms are doing and saying, are they catching everybody that's doing things that are uh, anti-election oriented? Right? And that is not something that the AI is doing. Uh, they are bringing in people uh, to backfill that thinking process. Right? And so we have to be careful. There are things in there, if you read about these, I'm not going to go into them in detail, local interpretable model agnostic explanations and interpretability of top inputs from the AI models and like and or graphs and latent explanations of neural network sorting, scoring. Those are all things that put noise into the system and kind of try to track stuff uh, about what's happening inside the algorithm. But you have to build these big, things on top of the supposedly efficient, because when you hire a programmer, you're hiring them to be efficient. What's the most efficient way to get to this decision uh, so that we use the least CPU? That's their thinking. And now you're saying, I want you to insert all this stuff that tracks all of the things and makes it inefficient, right? And so this is emergent technology that we're just starting to see, and there's probably going to be more of those things. And I'll leave that to you to go study on what those keys that unlock the AI are.